according to the World Health Organization report published in 2014. Estimated 285 million of people are visually impaired worldwide, 25 million of whom live in U.S. People who are blind or have visual impairment can have a considerable trouble to safely navigate crosswalks for a variety of reasons. They may have difficulty recognizing that there is an intersection, find the pedestrian push button, locating the correct place to cross, and then aligning themselves in the correct direction to follow the crosswalk, determining when the walk sign is on, and crossing without exiting the designated crossing lane, and crossing the crosswalk during the walk, walk interval. There are many challenges for visually impaired pedestrians. Paul Diodario will now share his experience navigating crosswalks with a visual impairment. I've learned um, the hard way that lining up at the right spot before you take one step is so important. I have been on the corner of an intersection wanting to cross straight and ended up crossing diagonally, mm -hmm. not even realizing it sometimes until I felt cars going past me <laughs> on, my, on the side that they shouldn't be going past me by. And I had no clue, and, and I was well into the middle of the road, so I just kept going, because at that point, why, mm -hmm. what right. am I going to do? It is obvious that more must be done to provide ease of movement for the blind and visually impaired in traffic. Here is where the eWalk application can help. Thanks to Paul, who agreed to test the app, we can see that it works as follows. While people with visual impairments may have been previously limited to listening to traffic patterns in order to determine where an intersection and its crosswalks are, the eWalk app can perform that for the user. The user will have the application on and will be holding their phone out in front of them. The app will first alert the user that they have reached an intersection, giving information such as the name of the crossing streets. Then the app will tell the user when they are near a given crosswalk, and will further tell the user when they have properly aligned themselves to enter and traverse the crosswalk. When this is the case, the app will ask the user if they would like to cross. If yes, swipe right. If no, swipe left. If the user swipes right, the app will functionally press the pedestrian cross button at the light so the user does not have to find the physical button. There is also functionality in the app that allows the user to activate the crossing sequence with a voice command if they so choose. After the user has activated the crossing sequence, the app will alert the user when the pedestrian light has turned green to cross, and the app will mimic the countdown on the light for the user. As the user walks, the app will give haptic alerts if the user is veering out of the crosswalk. Finally, the app will alert the user when the light has returned to don't walk and when the user has reached the end of the crosswalk. The eWalk application can be part of the solution to provide a better quality of life for vulnerable pedestrians.